Hi. So in this video, I'll take a couple of examples wherein we'll uh, take the stationarity of the uh, time series uh, model. So the first example is like this: y t is equal to y t minus one plus uh, u t. So y t depends on its uh, first lag, and there is an error term, and there is no coefficient as such. Okay. So coefficient here is one. Right. This is one. One multiplied to y t minus one. So this can be written like this y t equal to lag of y t right so y t minus 1 is lag of y t plus u t i'll take this term to the left hand side and then i'll have y t minus lag of y t equal to y t so i took uh, this term to the left then i'll take y t common from here Okay, y t and then one minus l equal to u t. Now, the characteristics equation in this case is one minus l equal to zero. Okay, so this is the uh, characteristics equation. Okay, which implies l equal to one. So, what is the criteria for you know uh, the series being stationary the criteria is that the roots of the characteristics equation okay so instead of l you can write z also like many people write z uh, 1 minus z equal to 0 uh, which implies z equal to 1 so the roots of the characteristics equation should be outside the unit circle that means um, out uh, should be greater than 1 okay so the unit circle has a radius of 1 so anything greater than that, so z has to be greater than 1, but z is equal to 1 here. That means it's a non-stationary series, right? For stationarity, it should be greater than 1. So the roots of the, all the roots of the characteristic equation should be greater than 1. It has got only one root, so z is the only root here. So um, uh, z equal to 1 is the only root, and that is not greater than or equal to 1, hence it's a non-stationary series. This particular, uh, you know, time series specification is commonly known as the random walk. Okay, where the uh, coefficient uh, phi takes a value of 1. Okay, and we all know, uh, and this is very well known in time series analysis, that random walk models are always non-stationary models. Okay. Alright, so we'll take another example here. So, the second example is slightly more complex. So y t is equal to 3 y t minus 1, so first lag, and then minus 2.75 y t minus 2, second lag, and then 0 0.75 y t minus 3, third lag, okay, and then the other term. Um, unlike the previous case, we have got the coefficients here, okay. In the previous case, uh, the coefficient phi was like 1. Here is 3 minus 2.75 and then 0.75, right. So, uh, this is the specification of the uh, time series model here. All right, so it implies that y t equal to three lag y t. So this is the first lag. This can be written as lag of y t, and this and this is second lag. Uh, this can be written as uh, lag of square l square y t. Right? Remember, y t minus two is equal to l square y t. Right? And then y t minus three or third lag is nothing but uh, L cube y t, right, and so on, right. So this is what we learned in the previous video. So we just replace that uh, uh, here also. We change L cube y t in place of uh, the third lag of y t, okay. And then what we'll do is we'll take all these terms to left hand side, pretty much the same way that we did in the uh, pre uh, previous example. Y t minus three L y t minus two point seven five um, L square uh y t minus 0 0.75 um l q y t and then in the right hand side we have u t right so uh now uh, what you need to do is um we need to get uh, the characteristic uh, equation from here so how do we get the characteristic equation so we'll take y t common because this is present in all the terms so what we have inside the bracket is 1 minus 3L 
minus 2.75 sorry this will be plus because in the right hand side it is minus so when it comes to left hand side it's going to be minus sorry plus so 1 minus 3l plus 2.75 um, it should be l square it's wrong l square minus 0.75 l cube okay equal to ut now the characteristic equation is 1 minus 3z plus 2.75 z square minus 0.75 z cube equal to 0. Now we can factorize this, right? And this is a slightly complicated, it looks complicated, uh, you know, equation uh, or, or a, um, you know, uh, mathematical expression to factorize. But when we factorize, you will get something like this, 1 minus z then 1 minus 1.5 z, 1 minus 0 0.05 z, okay? And then you can actually expand this, you will get this particular expression, okay? This is equal to 0. So, that means each term is equal to 0. When three multiplication of three things is equal to 0, either of, um, all, uh, either of these terms is 0. That means 1 minus z equal to 0, it's first one, 1 minus 1.5, z equal to 0 and then 1 minus 0 0.5 z equal to 0. So here it is z equal to 1 and then here it is z equal to uh, 1 by 1 1.5 which is um, you know 2 by 3 and the third one is uh, z equal to uh, 1 by 0 0.5 which is equal to 2. Okay. Now is it stationary series? We have the roots, right? We have three roots. This is one, uh, and then this is second one, and, and then this is the third one. Okay. So the roots are one, two by three, and two. And the condition for stationarity is that all the roots has to be all the roots have to be uh, greater than uh, one, or should be lying outside the unit circle. Okay. So in this case, only one root is satisfying this criteria, right? Only this one j equal to 2 which is greater than you know greater than 1 but the other two are not satisfying the uh, stationary decorator hence this series is also uh, the non stationary series so that's the way you will be able to uh, you know find out theoretically which uh, which series is stationary and which is which is not so given a mathematical expression of time series with its uh, lags and the coefficients you should be able to uh, find out the um, stationarity of this expression using the way I did, uh, and you can, you know, you can you can take more examples like this and check stationarity and non-stationarity of different time series data. So, for more videos, you can uh, subscribe to our channel. You can also go to the um, description. Description. You will find our website. You will find uh, plenty of materials on our website also.